Howdy, y'all. I got the bulldog on the channel. Yeah, I'm under a van on my side. I want to show you the effects of road salt and the calcium chloride they put on the roads uh, when it comes to vans. I'm underneath that church van that we put the exhaust on and the pastor asked us to go ahead and look at the air conditioner because it had not worked in quite some time. What we've got is the rear AC lines are leaking. Now these are AC and heater lines. Heater lines up here and these two are the AC lines. These, these lower ones right here and then the heater lines up here. Now these connections here this is going to shorten the amount of line that we need if they come apart. That's what I got to do now is to see if I can take all these things out of its saddles. But see, look at the white corrosive material you have here. And back up over there, you can see it on that large line because this this side swaps over to the other side. But that's what will happen is the aluminum will just start turning into a powder from corrosion. And it'll, it'll eat it from the inside out or from, you know, anywhere that it's attached, that it's touching something, it'll just start eating away at the aluminum. Uh, steel lines, they rust. Aluminum lines corrode. Rubber lines deteriorate. Take your pick on what you're going to, the reason that you're going to be replacing them. But bottom line, you're going to be replacing them. They don't make a material I'll save stainless steel, true stainless steel, that will actually work. And that stuff is, you know, horribly cost, cost prohibitive to use on this stuff for the manufacturer. Uh, but you can see this van's not a stranger to the to the body cancer and I, being across the river from Illinois we see a lot of this because a lot of vehicles come out of Chicago a lot of them matter of fact my little beetle came from up there and it, 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 it's got some rust underneath of it some significant rust yeah, but we'll deal with it and hopefully it'll last. With the amount of miles I put on a vehicle, it doesn't last that long. Uh, I'll run a bunch of miles up on it, and then we'll do something different, you know? I get them little Volkswagens because they seem to run a lot longer than anything else. Uh, at least when I ran my old Chevy S10, it was cheap to fix. But you had to fix it a lot. You know? Anyway wanted to show you, you know, the, the drawbacks of having rear air on these big passenger vans. It is nice because it's a drag, gigantic open area, but in order to effectively cool it, they put the unit all the way in the back. I mean, clear into the back corner. Well, For material's sake, you could put it in the left side. I mean, there's no door on the left side. So you could put the unit right there, and you could save 12 feet of line, and you wouldn't be running it underneath the vehicle where it's going to get corroded into. So it's just a thought. 
Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it around. We'll talk to you later.